There's some the hip hop soldiers here, basically outside my apartment. Um, in the hallway, uh, I'm just trying to put things in perspective, you know, praying over it. And it's a crazy situation because we have a scenario in which nobody's right. Which really turns my stomach. I mean, you got George Floyd, who actually was a career criminal, who was brought over and called by a shop owner because he tried to um, pass off a phony 20. And it was caught high with drugs. And we had corrupted police officers kill him. Um, so basically, Floyd wasn't right, and the police officers were definitely wrong. So there's no way you can take a right stand because there's a position where nobody is right. And you have the media turning a criminal into a saint in order to produce a political narrative getting everybody angry. I'm watching this. This is nonsense. Um, but it's a position where nobody is right. Um, you got Candace Owens actually declaring what's right, and she's being attacked. You got Brandon Tatum actually declaring what's right. He's being attacked, too. This is ridiculous. Um, and we had these riots come out, and um, the Pennsylvania authorities left the people unprotected. So they got out, brought out weapons to protect themselves, and then the very government tries to bring up vigilante charges against them. So basically, they leave you unprotected, and then don't allow you to protect yourselves. They're not looking out for your best interests. You have to get rid of them. And it's sad to say that you've been duped by your own unions. Because they forced you, and they presented these people to actually stab you in the butt, and um, made your way more dangerous. And you're going to vote them in again. This is what I call the Philly stupid. Um, this has been happening over and over and over and over again. Nobody's thinking anything out. It's like you go outside, you see a red, a blue sky. Then you come in, and the guy on CNN tells you it's red. So you go outside, look at that red sky, and wonder why, how you mistook the red sky for blue. But that's the way the nation has been living at this point. Um, you've been so wrapped up in your emotions, you haven't been thinking straight. For instance, we're talking about a virus that's 99.9, 99.6% survival and we've been panicked over it well, it makes absolutely no sense you know what it is they've been lying to you the fact is is 99.6 percent survivable it makes it all nonsense we've been acting like a bunch of idiots it's about time we actually woke up and stop going to the media, the government, or the political parties for truth. There's only one place you go for truth, and that's the Lord Jesus Christ. You ever go into his presence. And um, there's a lot of um, preachers have been lying in the pocket of the political system. And it has got to end. It has got to end. And um, I would like to encourage you, if you see any preachers involved in this political stuff that's not true, don't support them. Don't support them. We need to have to get out of the vein where the political class is influencing those of faith. Giving you all sorts of stuff that's basically a lie. And um, it's really got gotten me. I'm just thinking about this. We have become basically a stupid people. Very dumb. We ignore what's in our hands, in our eyes. Right? We have violent, we've been given in through violent entities. And we have government officials actually endorsing them. And we think it's good. We've seen what they did. Our cities destroyed. Homes are wrecked, businesses are wrecked. They're not coming back. We did it to ourselves because we listened to them. Instead of going back and researching it, you have all the numbers from the CDC ready there. You don't have to go to the media, you can research it yourself. See that we're actually lying to you. And now they want to basically have you chipped and have you all this stuff for you to go back to work, which is nonsense. You need to stand up and look for the truth. That's the whole thing. If you're not willing to look for the truth, you're going to believe a lie. And that's the whole truth. And most of you believe the lie. Why? Because your, your governors, been lying to you, your media's been lying to you for quite, quite some time. Um, and there's been lying from the pulpit.
everybody has lied to the American people. Um, and it's time you got up and started seeking out the truth for yourself. The truth is out there. We're in the information age. Everything's available. There's no excuse for you not to know. Because everything has been available to the internet. You can look, you can research, you can find out for yourself. And stop letting these people get you angry. Because when you get angry, you're not thinking straight. You're not thinking straight. Your emotions cloud your better judgment. I mean, 99.6% survivable, and you're panicking over that. That's not good. They controlled you. Basically, they produce a whole lot of mass and you're forced to buy. Take money into their pockets, putting out the small businesses and forcing you to go to target and labor. Everything's right out in the open. You need to go research it for yourself and stop it. And don't get your information off of Facebook. Because the people on Facebook are usually more deceived than you are. Um, and it's something I had to let out. So you get in prayer, seek the face of God, let him lead you and guide you. And then ignore this nonsense of people trying to get you angry and riled up. Um, because they're not creating unity in the culture, they're creating division. Um, and that's the way it is. So I'm going to encourage you guys. Take the media, turn it off. Right? Some of you guys actually have to have your cable turned off. Because all they're doing is issuing it and stirring up a lot of nonsense. It's the media that's been doing this. You have to tell them to shut up. And um, I've seen all these people around me in fear needlessly. For instance, there are good cops, there are bad cops. Most of them are good. Um, most of the people I meet in the black community are usually honest. There are your criminal elements, but it's not total like that. And, um, and one group's actually not out to get the other one. It's the media bias trying to stir it up to make it look that way. So they can basically push their agenda. So it's about time for us to come up and get rid of the agenda. Come together as a people. Not as political classes, not as ethnic groups, but as one people. Because that's the way we're going to go down. We're not going to go down as different ethnic groups. We're not going to go down as um, blacks, whites, race, Hispanics, Puerto Ricans. We're not going to go down on that. We're going to go down as one people. And we're going to stand and we're going to thrive as one people. Um, my family is multi-ethical. We have blacks, whites, Asians. Um, you name it, they're in there. And we get together. Life is, we're one people. We're one family. At least we should. Um, and that's why I got this nonsense with um, um, white privilege. The whites of my family are the poorest ones. I'm dead serious. And the, all the programs towards, goes towards those of ethnicity. Or the minorities. So they get all sorts of programs that the white sector of the family doesn't get. They're not privileged to. So it's not um, white privilege, it's actually minority privilege. It, that's one of the areas they've been distorted in. Um, because if you're below a certain poverty line, you can get all the programs you need. If you're above that, slightly above that, basically on your own. And that's the way it actually works. Um, so it's not white privilege. And, um, I would expect you to get rid of this um, get out of churches that preach or have programs dealing with social justice. That's not godly justice. You put social in front of any, you put justice, anything in front of justice, you're distorting it. It's not true justice. True justice doesn't deal with the color of your skin, it deals with the content of your character. That's what true justice is. It deals with the content of your character and you receiving the blessing or penalty due to your way you live. That is actually true justice. Um, social justice is basically racism inversed. That's exactly what it is. It's a propaganda given by a political class that controls the populace. Um, and they don't give in on any of that. And um, don't deal in churches that are promoting any type of doctrine as far as social justice. Because they shouldn't be missing political narratives 
and biblical narratives. They're two different things. Um, and that's called a state of compromise. The Bible is very clear with this. He says, what you add, if you add anything to the word of God, all the plagues and the curses of the Bible are added onto you. That's a severe curse because anybody adding onto it. And when you come up with a program referring to social justice, you're actually adding on to the word of God. And a lot of these churches that are going in for those programs, they're not blessed, they're actually cursed. The only church they gave to those who were in need, they were all multi-ethnical churches. They didn't give in, or they didn't cater towards certain ethnic groups. Whoever was in need, and that should be the requirement. And that's a working of justice, not social justice. Um, so, God bless. Have a good day.